Olympians, elite athletes, weekend warriors. Regardless of the many types of competitors, they're all here united for one cause, raising funds for the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Coming up next, it's the 2014 Nautica Malibu Triathlon, presented by Equinox. The sunrise in Malibu would keep Shakespeare busy for a lifetime. And for the 28th year, the Nautica Malibu Triathlon presented by Equinox claims the picturesque California coastline of Zuma Beach as its home. With a mixture of celebrities, professional triathletes, and regular folks like you and me, the Nautica Malibu Triathlon has become one of the biggest events of its kind, annually attracting more than 6,000 competitors to the beaches of Malibu to challenge themselves, have some fun in the Southern California sun, and most of all, help raise money for a great cause. Children's Hospital, Los Angeles. You know, this is my fourth year in a row, I believe, and it's just such a great cause. It's just, we, we love it. I mean, we're helping out Children's Hospital. It's going to a great cause. We believe in what they're doing. Um, you really get to see the effect that, the, the, that your money-raising efforts has on the hospital and the kids. If we can bring awareness and help raise funds and do anything for the Pediatric Cancer Center at uh, Children's Hospital here in L.A., I would count me in. I love to swim still. It's my first love, but I'll be running, and that's really... I think the best leg because you get to actually cross the finish line. That's my favorite part. Crossing the finish line first is the goal of any race, but maintaining some friendly rivalries is what keeps some of these athletes coming back every year. And some may even enlist mind games as part of their training routine. I'll tell you this, um, Jeff Stoltz is one of those uh, you know, pretends he doesn't train trainers. Jeff Stoltz, if you're out there, um, he, they always seem to come up at the last minute and boom, pass everybody and win. So I'm, I'm probably gonna take him out. I was training, I did about two weeks. <laughs> it's not bad for me. Yeah, I've been trying. We'll see if Jeff's training pays off a little later, but for many of these athletes, simpler goals of just getting out there, pushing themselves and testing their limits is half the fun. I ran once and I'll never do that again. And I can't swim, so I just like stick to the bike. If I live through the swim, I may live through the bike, and then I might remotely pass the finish line on the run. That's what I'm going for. Being just a stone's throw from Hollywood, the entertainment and corporate divisions are always hotly contested. Who will come out on top this year? With warm-ups complete, it's almost go time as the field of competitors make their way to the beach as Amber Riley kicks things off with a gleeful version of the national anthem. Good luck indeed as the first wave of athletes gets to hit the water at 7 a.m. where the Pacific Ocean surf is enough to take your breath away, making breathing, much less swimming, a difficult task. But these athletes are up for a challenge and with the cheers of the kids back at Children's Hospital LA to push them ahead, the Pacific Ocean poses little threat to these fierce competitors. The elite pro division lines up first, eyeing the water before them. And they're off, sprinting down the Zuma Beach sand and into the Pacific surf like a tidal wave moving in reverse. The green caps of the elite pros knife their way through the water, attacking that water like dolphins playing in the Pacific. While the celebrity and relay divisions anxiously await their turn to join in the fun. Dr. Sanjay Gupta talks over some pre-race strategy with fans. And Rebecca Sony shares some laughs with Colin Egglesfield. And the reason we're all out here before the sun has had a chance to settle into the sky is for Children's Hospital LA, where Team Sophia has come together in the memory of a little girl that we'll get to hear about later in the show. That's the cannon, and the celebrity and relay athletes make quick work of the sandy slope before them, and it's time to swim. With the first leg of the triathlon now underway, let's take a look at this year's course. The Pacific Ocean is the first obstacle as competitors start things off with a half mile swim heading north up Zuma Beach, where a stunning 18 mile bike ride along the Pacific Coast Highway awaits. 
The athletes finish off their day with a four mile run heading down PCH to Point Doom and back to the finish. Top pros will stop the clock in the one hour and 30 minute range. Well on their way towards that 90 minute mark, the pros are almost to the final buoy before heading to shore. When we come back to Malibu, we'll swap wetsuits for wheels. The 2014 Nautica Malibu Triathlon is brought to you by Nautica. Shop Nautica.com. By Equinox, it's not fitness, it's life. By Men's Health, tons of useful stuff. Welcome back to the 28th Annual Nautica Malibu Triathlon presented by Equinox. As we circle around the beautiful coastline of Zuma Beach in Malibu, California, Malibu High School senior Alec Wilimovsky catches a wave like the Beach Boys and cruises into shore as the first athlete to emerge from the Pacific Ocean. With his sights set on the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo, I'd say Alec is well on his way to reaching his lofty goals. The rest of the competitors make their way through the half-mile swim, focused more on the moment than the finish. Alec leads the charge on the Pacific Coast Highway, where a slew of local fans cheer on their hometown hero. As more athletes begin to make their way out of the water, Jenny Perry leads the charge on the bike for the elite women after a blistering pace in the swim, putting almost three minutes between her and second place. While Olympic gold medalist Matt Biondi passes the torch to relay teammate Ivan Dominguez who finished second in the Herbalife International Distance Race held one day earlier right here in Malibu. A short swim in the Pacific Ocean can't hide the smile on Raj Durbal's face as he gets a little help from his friends and from Paul Mitchell, who has chosen Raj as this year's Spirit Award winner for continuing to inspire us all. I like the challenge of life. You know, triathlon, swim, bike, run, you can, you can apply that to any part of your life. So for me, this is just a vehicle to apply how to overcome a challenge. You know, every race is different. Every race you have, you can't race it the same way, just like in life. I just like that challenge. I like bringing out the best of myself, and triathlon's a way to do that. <laughs> I don't even come out here to win awards and do things. I just share inspiration and hope that you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to, that nothing can ever hold you back in your lifetime. No one, not no sickness, no, no one in your life, no job, no finances, all of that. It's just not, not dependent on any of that. Well, as Raj said, only you can set your own limits, and since we like a good challenge, we challenge you to get out there, get involved, and join us next year in Malibu. And I'm willing to bet a smile will cross your face, too. High school senior Alec Wilimovsky continues to crush the course, leading the pack, and giving our Motocam a run for the money. There's no hiding Olympic champion Rebecca Sodney's golden smile as she makes her way into the transition area where she hands the Team Disney baton to Bob Iger for the second leg of today's race. And while Bob might be second on this team, Team Disney is second to none as they annually lead the way in money raised, donating over $1.7 million to Children's Hospital Los Angeles over the years. Team Disney is definitely making a difference. Meanwhile, in the men's celebrity race, the difference between first and second is slim, as Jeff Stoltz has a small lead over Colin Egglesfield, who shows he's brought his A-game this year, making quick work of the transition before chasing down Stoltz, who's decided to go with the streamlined look this year. Who needs a shirt when it's sunny and 80 degrees in Malibu? Not the new girl's Max Greenfield, who's back for another try. Egglesfield leaves the bike transition in second, but Stoltz is within striking distance as other competitors make their way down the transition area and out on the bike. And here's a bird's eye view of actor and real life Marine Rob Riggle completing the first leg of the Nautica Malibu Triathlon. Hey, a lot of, a lot of salt water. That's certainly one way to stay hydrated, Rob, but I'd leave the salt water in the ocean. Something Raj Durbel knows all about as he leaves the Pacific behind on his way to the Pacific Coast Highway while TV doctor Mark Feuerstein has a close connection to the cause. Uh, my daughter was diagnosed with a rare congenital heart defect in 2010, and the brilliant nurses in the CTICU and the brilliant surgeon there, Dr. Vaughn Starnes, saved her life with two open heart surgeries, uh, and they never turn anyone away. They turn no patients away. So CHLA is a vaunted institution, the greatest, and I do what I can to help support it. 
We appreciate the support, Mark, and hope that all is well as your daughter cheers you on like the rest of us. Terry Hatcher shows no signs of desperation as she heads out on the bike, and Rob Riggle looks focused as he heads out on the second part of his journey. Don't go anywhere. We'll keep putting the pedal to the metal as the Nautica Malibu Triathlon. Ivan Dominguez leads the way for Team CVMM in the men's relay, while Jenny Perry continues her push down PCH for the top of the pro women's podium, a place Dominguez was familiar with one day earlier. As each year, the Nautica Malibu Triathlon has an international length race run the Saturday before the Sunday Celebrity Classic. This year's elite winners were Carly Johan and Chris Berg. Congratulations to both of them. Also, a huge part of all racing are the corporate entities that get involved. This year's international distance and a longtime sponsor of the event, Herbalife CEO, Michael Johnson. What Michael Epstein and what the Malibu Triathlon do for CHLA is vitally important. They've raised millions of dollars for one of the most important institutions in this town, helping children get healthy. I mean, what could be better than that? Not much, Michael. And if you can help a great cause while getting in a beachside cruise on your bike, even better. Dr. Sanjay Gupta has been helping people for years. So do as the good doctor says and does. Just get out there and ride. Josie Loren looks like she's settling into the bike portion of team Make It or Break It's Ride. Keep cranking those pedals. And Josie, how's it going out there? It's going. High schooler Alec Wilimovsky is going to be going to the Olympics one day if he can keep up this pace as he's the first athlete off the bike and onto the run. Someone that's no stranger to Olympic training and success, Summer Sanders awaits her teammate back at base camp while the beautiful Heather Tom boldly leads the way for the celebrity women. There may only be a few winners today, but there are always a myriad of ways to call a race a success. Sandra Andrade won't be breaking any records, but her story might melt a million hearts. Her goal in completing this course is to honor a life and the organization that gave her countless more precious moments with her daughter. Like Team Sophia is leaving a lasting impression. Sophia was a typical developing infant and child um, until she hit about the age of two and a half. And when she was two and a half, she had signs of a flu that wouldn't go away. And um, after a month of trying to get answers, we ended up at Children's Hospital Los Angeles where she was diagnosed with stage four high-risk neuroblastoma. She went through treatment for about two years off and on. And after all of that, we were told that she had no evidence of disease. Um, September 12th, 2013, she relapsed with neuroblastoma and um, we had four months of treatment before we lost our daughter. This is an opportunity for us to be able to give back to the hospital that gave us an extra two and a half years with our child. Just the number of people on the side that are, are yelling, go Team Sophia, you've got this. And how much it really addresses the journey that we've been on. And it is quite an emotional journey that we've been on. And I'm sure there will be moments where I'm running and crying and that's okay. As Sophia and Sandra's bravery exhibits, it's always okay to cry as long as you remember to find a reason to smile too. And if anyone is wondering how important this event and the fundraising efforts are, Sandra's story is the perfect example. Absolutely. More Nautica Malibu Triathlon when we come back. You never start a lifetime of fitness early enough. And the Nautica Tot Trot is a healthy way for kids of all ages to practice for a future Nautica Malibu Triathlon while having some fun in the sun. And whether you're a kid or a kid at heart, the Sponsor Village is a great place to get a new do, some snacks, or even check out the latest fitness fashion firsthand. No doubt, I'm good for this. So if you look at the crowd, everyone's super involved here, super giving. Um, it's great for our brand to be involved with this type of event. Local businesses, Studios come out every year, support a great cause with the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles and the great work they do there. So 
It's a win all around for everyone. Alec Wilimovsky is on his way to a win as he's already made the turn at Point Doom and headed for home. While team for the kids, Eric Edabari pushes through the pain to tag in his teammate Elton Lewis, who attacks the four-mile run. Just ahead of Cougar Town's Josh Hopkins, who's all smiles as he hits the pavement with Olympic gold medalist Summer Sanders in hot pursuits. While John Cryer gets a little help from his teammates before showing he's a whole man, anchoring team two and a half men in the celebrity mixed relay. Potential future Olympian Alec Wilimovsky continues his run on a path he knows well as team dating naked's Kim Perfetto slip slides her way into the transition where Amy Pafraff takes aim at the top of the celebrity women's relay. Jeff Stoltz shows that two weeks of training may be enough for an enlisted man to stay in triathlon shape. But he is going to have to push it to hold off Colin Egglesfield, who closed the gap on the bike. Now, can he finish it off on the run? Raj Durbel is two-thirds of the way towards taking the men's para title. And in the news, Jason Kennedy is four miles away from the finish line, where Alec Wilimovsky is the first athlete to complete his day and grab the banner. Uh, I noticed beforehand that there was a rip, but I surf here a lot, so I just tried to come around it on the inside and managed to catch a wave in and come out of the water first. Josh Hopkins has his game face on, as Summer Sanders is all smiles and sunshine. John Cryer keeps pounding the pavement in pursuit of the finish, as the hotter than normal temps make a water break even more important than normal. Elton Lewis all alone in the celebrity men's relay, but a battle for the celebrity mixed relay is on, as Pascucci and Summer Sanders are hot on each other's heels, heading into the home stretch. And Sanders closes the gap, and she'll cross the line first, one of Summer's favorite things to do, as she told us earlier in the show. Amy Pafraff makes the final push for the finish, with Jeff Stoltz nipping at her heels, as Jason Kennedy is holding up well, with less than halfway to go. Jenny Perry finishes what she started, leading wire to wire for the pro women's title. Relatively new to triathlon, she looks like she's got a career in this. As the steady stream of competitors make their way around Malibu, we catch up with Paul Mitchell Spirit Award winner Raj Durbel, who continues his steady march toward the line. Where all eyes are on Josh Hopkins and longtime Malibu triathlon crowd favorite John Cryer who gets more than a little love from the fans. Hopkins happy to just cross the line. I won the whole thing. No, I didn't. I finished. That's a win in my book. I, I gimped in dead, but that's a win. Colin Egglesfield is actually in line for the win in the celebrity men's race. So while the crowd cheers everyone on as they finish, the question is, where is Jeff Stoltz? Brian Brian and there's our answer as Stoltz makes it across the line well under the two hour mark good enough for second place in a spot on the celebrity men's podium. The run's always the hardest thing for me and I, I, I felt better than I normally do. Uh, Colin Eggers will pass me. He caught me with about, about a mile into it. I was like okay I know he's a strong runner just stay with him and it seemed like he guy was he was definitely stronger than me today. <laughs> You're doing a good job. You're ready. Right. Also doing a great job, Rob Riggle, who put some early salt water issues behind him to cross the line with a smile. I made it. I survived the ocean. That's the big thing. Uh, what a great day. It was beautiful. The course was awesome. Uh, it was a total blast. Egglesfield over Stoltz for the celebrity men. The good doctor finishes in fifth. For the celebrity women, Heather Tom just over Terry Hatcher. For the three relay categories, it's for the kids, Lone Wolf, and Team X Terra. Not one to back down from a challenge, Raj Durbel kept his spirits high from start to finish, 
And in case anyone forgot why we're out here today, Team Sophia gives us hope that one day we can all cross the finish line in the fight against child illnesses. It's always longer than you think it will be, but it's a perfect metaphor for what my daughter went through times a thousand when she was at CHLA. And so if she can survive that, this ain't nothing. Super athletes right here. Uh, coming in in ninth place. Malibu attracts not only celebrity racers, but it seems celebrity MCs. Jason Alexander presented the awards, but more importantly, the check to Children's Hospital Los Angeles for a whopping $1.35 million. In the corporate division, most of that money raised by Children's Hospital Los Angeles themselves. Oh my goodness, $256,000. But you look at the entertainment division, it's Disney on top, once again, raising over a quarter of a million dollars. I have a check for the Children's Hospital Los Angeles for $275,000. Can't think of a better cause to make us really proud. Congratulations. As for Raj Durbel, Paul Mitchell may be giving him a check, but the inspiration he's given thousands is priceless. It's been another great day in the sun and fun of Malibu. Make it a plan to join us next year. For all of us here, I'm Craig Hummer. Thanks for watching.